Iranian prosecutor points finger at CIA, Israel and Saudi Arabia for unrest. Iran's public prosecutor has blamed the CIA, Israel and Saudi Arabia for stirring unrest in the Islamic Republic, which resulted in the deaths of more than 20 people over the last week. Mohammad Jafar Monthazari said Thursday that the main protector of the agitation plan was an American national called Michael Andrea, a man he claims is a former CIA agent who formed a group tasked with fermenting discord in the country. The state prosecutor also pointed to Israel and Saudi Arabia. Monazari is quoted in Iran's Islamic Republic news agency Erna as saying that Andrea, and an unnamed officer affiliated with Israel's spy agency Mossad, masterminded the plot dubbed the Consequential Convergence Doctrine and that Saudi Arabia picked up the bill. Montezaria's comments echo those of the country's supreme leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, who earlier claimed that enemies of Iran are using money, weapons and political warfare to create problems for the country's leaders. As for the recent day's development in the country, enemies have been united to create problems for the Islamic system by using various means including money, weapons, politics and security apparatus, Khamenei said. I have a lot more to say about these developments, but we'll share them with our dear people at an appropriate time," he added. Also Thursday, Iran's ambassador to the UN, Ghulam Ali Kashru, accused the US of grotesque interference in his country's affairs, and also of encouraging regime change in the Islamic Republic. He also blasted Donald Trump for inciting disruptive acts. The current U.S. administration has crossed every limit in flouting rules and principles of international law governing the civilized conduct of international relations, Kashru said in a letter to the U.N. Trump had previously tweeted that the U.S. is watching. As a wave of protests erupted last Thursday, with people said to be demonstrating against rising food prices, unemployment, and the overall economic situation. A reported 22 people died as the government cracked down on protesters.